Imagine a single device that can generate clean electricity and store it, all in one. That's the promise of reversible solid oxide fuel cells, or RESOFCs, a breakthrough technology that might just revolutionize how we produce and use energy. Hi everyone, welcome back to All About Sustainability. If you liked our content, hit that hype button to show your support and encourage us to create more exciting content like this. In our earlier video, we explored solid oxide electrolysis cells, SOICs, and how they use electricity to produce hydrogen. In today's video, we're diving into a powerful innovation that combines this with fuel cell technology introducing reversible solid oxide fuel cells, a game changer in the future of clean energy. RESOFCs are advanced electrochemical devices that can operate in two modes fuel cell mode, SOFC, they generate electricity by oxidizing a fuel like hydrogen. Electrolysis mode, SOEC, they use electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This dual function is made possible by a solid ceramic electrolyte sandwich between two electrodes. These cells work at very high temperatures, between 600 degrees Celsius and 900 degrees Celsius, making them highly efficient compared to conventional batteries or fuel cells. RESOFCs are like giant rechargeable batteries, but much more powerful. When there's excess solar or wind energy, RESOFCs store it by converting electricity into hydrogen. Later, when energy is needed, that hydrogen is converted back into electricity. This could power microgrids in remote locations, supply industrial heat and electricity, produce hydrogen for clean transportation. This makes them perfect for long-term energy storage, days, weeks, even months, something traditional batteries can't handle well. Despite their promise, RESOFCs aren't without challenges. Their high operating temperatures require extremely durable materials, which are expensive and still under development. Switching between modes, fuel cell, left-right arrow emoji, electrolysis, can affect performance and lifespan. Plus, manufacturing costs remain high, slowing down widespread adoption. But there's hope, in October 2024, the U.S. Department of Energy announced $4 million in funding to support RESOFC research for microgrids and clean hydrogen production. And in Europe, the Reflex project already demonstrated RESOFCs powering a smart energy hub in Italy. RESOFCs are gaining momentum. Ongoing research is focusing on improving electrolyte and electrode materials, lowering costs through new manufacturing methods, expanding use in carbon-neutral fuels, like ammonia and methane synthesis. RESOFC are a real-world solution to decarbonize our power systems, industrial operations, and even transportation. With increasing research and investment, RESOFCs could soon be powering communities, industries, and even vehicles, all while cutting carbon emissions. Thank you.